Overlord? Overlord? Oh, seize the barracks immediately. I would send a drone. Yes, who is going to send the drone? Wow, okay. Well, that's is a right. pretty promising start for Sue. And on to game three. Yeah, I mean, this is this is all going to come down to the SCV positioning. Will it sit on the outside of the barracks? Will it sit on the inside? Right. It got scouted so quickly. I don't see how you ever complete this barracks, right? There's no way. RNG is good, well, but it can't be this good. Now there's going to be two drones as well. This barracks is not going to complete. Innovation oh my is standing... gosh, look at this. Look at this SCV. It's like in the perfect position. How Get long is it going to stay? Out of there. Oh, uh, and there, the SCV, it goes down. That is a huge win for Sue. Not just picking off the SCV, but Innovation continuing to commit okay, this the double is big. drone. Yeah, the, the oh, second yeah. SCV come, and that's the sweet spot right there. So in the end, this barracks will complete. I can't believe. <laughs> 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 Who spray is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, essence. So what are you doing, Sue? And also, the fact that Sue sees that it's command center so early, which means that the factory has to be delayed, and because the barracks was constructed on the other side of the map, the factory has to build its own reactor. I mean, perhaps Sue just goes for some sort of bus. We see Zerglings yeah, in production. Sure. Zerglings going cross map. This this could just be the opportunity that Sue has to pull off a win in game two. There's, yeah. There they are. And since innovation didn't reinforce his wall like yeah he's got a what wall he's building a fusion core okay innovation did not click on the gas he did not see how much gas was mined there now obviously hellions have a lot of micro potential but this is going to be a lot of zerglings and banelings to deal with very quickly <laughs> and the first two hellions are not even out yet okay he's going to reinforce it right now is it oh. in time it's so close oh, oh. oh. no oh. okay yeah <laughs> oh no the engineering bay is not enough and if any of you wondered what a timing is this is it before any hellions were out before there was any additional defense sue just bombs straight up and can continue to pressure and at this point in time mules at the front going down four scvs have fallen and yeah i mean these hellions can get controlled and eventually pick things off but oof, big baneling rewalt if Innovation would rewall right now, he would actually be in a pretty decent spot, I think. Being only down five workers, Innovation, you want to rewall. There's more Zerglings. He's really committing to this. He still hasn't rewalled. I find that shocking. Or maybe he doesn't want to rewall. He's like, I've got four Hellions, but you don't really want to lose more SCVs than you've already lost, though. I mean, as Sue, are you just committed to building nothing but Zerglings until you hopefully win? I mean, there's a ticking clock right now. Innovation has battle cruiser tech available. Just needs to finish this tech lab. We see a pair of Banelings coming from the top side. One gets eliminated, the second gets eliminated. And at this point in time, it's 12 workers to 24. Careful transitioning to workers now. Sue is building seven back home. Might be able to pick off some of these Hellions. Still dealing damage to the workers in the main base. Yeah, a lot of the mules have obviously they got picked off in the front, like you mentioned. So it's not just that having 12 SCVs, there are some moments where it's like, well, if it's 12 against 20, you have double warp to command. That's actually somewhat playable when <laughs> still with the banter. Uh, I was surprised. I felt that innovation could have rewalled at one point, and I think that yeah, would have saved yeah. an additional four or five SCVs. And I think that would have had a very big impact on how this game was going to play out. Now I think that Sue is most likely going for a Spire on two bases, right? Like he scouted everything that he needs to scout. Yep. We can already see him getting the lair, so I'm expecting him to take additional gases. And then a two base Spire against the BC opening. I think that's pretty good. Um, so there's going to be a lot of opportunity for these Mutalists to actually deal harassment damage and for these battle cruisers to just be kind of ineffectual. You know, I'm going to be a little biased here, and I kind of hope that these Mutas fly into, like, two Widow Mines. I know that's a bit brutal, but... That's that's mean! Okay, I know, I know, I know. But, attitude, man. But, but let me finish, okay, Sean? Let me finish. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I feel sorry. like Innovation needs some time to turn this into a competitive game. Because right now, he's obviously in a very rough spot. He's down quite far economically. So he needs to catch a break. And then I think we'll get a very back-and-forth game where, sure, Sue might still be ahead, but I think it becomes playable. At this point, this doesn't look that playable to me. Like, yeah, okay, he's got some anti to deal with the Mudas, but he's down a lot of supply. Wow, two Yamatos go up. Okay, it's not quite Widow Mines, but I'll take it. <laughs> so if we look at the right uh, center expansion for Sue, there's two evolution chambers there, but I think Sue is going in, into a little bit of autopilot mode. We have Banely Nest number two. Yeah. Now, if you're doing an economic play, you often do go for like double Evo Baneling with some delay. 
But if you did a Bane Link bust early, you don't necessarily need to build a second Bane Link nest. So I feel like this is one of these funny kind of autopiloting <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? I was like, this is totally fine. He's building two Evos. And I was like, right, oh, right. yeah, he Bane Link busted. <laughs> exactly. You need a Bane Link Yeah, nest. right. Like... <laughs> but, you know, I actually, I'm not 100% sure if Stu was even aware of the fact that he's playing against Mech. He hasn't scouted all these factories yet. Uh, yep. His army is obviously good against Bayer. Now, I do know that Stu likes to play Mudas against Battlecruisers. We've seen this before as we have Widow Mine Battlecruiser attack here. Innovation with more random stuff. But hey, let's yes. see if he can get some good damage done. Yeah, it looks like Innovation's been enjoying co op commander with this unit composition, right? We see the mass Widow Mine Battlecruiser burrow, unburrow, burrow, unburrow. Try to not get too many Zergling shots to go off on these. But I mean, great micro by Sue, trying to ensure that yes, the mines don't connect with the Mutalist, the mines don't really connect with anything of value, and Sue just repels this with ease. Yeah, that could have been gnarly, like if you take a bad engagement there, and suddenly like you run out of Zerglings very quickly, or the Queens take a lot of damage, or the Mudas clump up and they are low on HP, but now the Mudas are all still full on HP, Innovation barely has any anti air the Missile Turret goes down, I think that this is going to be it. Sue oh. looks like he is about to take game two. If that battle cruiser goes down, there is just no and NTR out. left. And Mutalisks now. Oh, oh. question mark, Sue. Sue, oh, everyone's confused. You know, I, I almost want to just type a question mark in the game. <laughs> Go for it, yeah. John. I won't stop you. GG. Now, I wonder, is this just a 12 pool? Or is this one of these 12 pools where they pull the drones as well? To me, it looks like we're going to see Zergling speed out of Elazer. He's essentially trying to apply pressure, but then get his Zergling speed no later than a traditional timing. Because it, mm -hmm. it seems dangerous to try to go Banelings right now with such a late extractor. I should say late relative to when you build the pool. Because it just means you're going to be able to get no Banelings in time. So. No, this like is this also is kind of cool because, yeah, yeah, Sarah might see this as like, oh, it's 12 pool gasless. And then suddenly, surprise, really quick zergling speed. So it seems like yeah. you're absolutely spot on. And it's really important for Sarah to figure this one out. Sarah obviously first needs to worry about the initial 12 pool. Let's not forget about that. This is still a 12 pool opening, which means that zerglings are still to the other side of the map very early on. And that is a lot of damage already. That's a Sarah. Oh my goodness. Sarah. Sarah with an insane surround on the Zerglings of Elazer. Are you okay, Sean? Oh, yeah, no, I tried to drink my water and then I went, <gasps> but I was drinking water and I almost drowned. <laughs> oh my God, what an incredible surround. <laughs> it's okay, man, oh, take, a, take a moment. Oh my God, I tried to drink the water and I, I failed quite miserably. Oh, Sarah's in clearly a superior position after that just bone crushing surround. I'm going to need you to talk for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, no, of like course, of course. I was just making sure that you're okay. That's the only thing I was worried about. Uh, wow. Obviously a fantastic surround there by Serral, being able to get the job done. Uh, trapping all these links, and this is double bad for Elaser, because we know that the follow-up is not drones, it's Zergling speed. But because Elaser lost all his Zerglings, he couldn't prevent this scout from Serral. And guys, at this point... I just don't see a way for Elazer. His attack has been revealed. He only has a few additional Zerglings. Saro is going to go for the wall off here, which means that it's going to take a long time before these Zerglings of Elazer are going to be able to break yeah. through. And he's in trouble, man. Elazer is in all the trouble over here. Yeah, I mean, this is typically why like the Zergling speed follow-up. Look, I mean, the Zergling speed has only just now started for Saro, but the problem is the first attack got whomped. Yes. Do you think he pulls the drones with SDRG? I don't think he does on night shit. I think he just goes like 12 pool across the map, try and take the advantage. You know how they like to play that kind of, you know, back and forth. You try and fight a little bit. You know, you obviously just try and kill a couple of drones. That's my vision of this. I'd be very surprised you can pull the workers, but I just don't think Nightshade's that great a map for it necessarily. You just keep talking and then I'll, I'll you know, say yes or no in just a second. You can say yes okay, or no. no. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite thing, things is always um, check to see what their um, their hotkeys are to see if they like hotkey the drones or anything. But ah. yeah, nothing's really being hotkeyed here just yet. So it looks as though they are going to go. I was wrong. Nice. Okay. Nicely yes, done. Cool see? I said just keep talking. I'll give you a yes or no answer. So yes, 40. <laughs> <laughs> They're absolutely going to pull the drones. <laughs> 
Um, I was hoping he would, just because, of course, it makes it a lot spicier. And hey, TLO might still be right if this actually works out for him. The Overlord is going to see this about as fast as possible. I imagine anything faster. That doesn't really help Solar in terms of what he can choose to do here. Uh, maybe he doesn't make an Overlord. He actually saves a Larva type thing. But OK, he's actually checking for Spinecrawler, which is pretty useful. But mentally, right, he can prepare and uh, make some decisions. But it's going to be a lot about Micro. Yeah, this is a complete micro fight. Sol is going to have to use those little pockets of minerals to put his drones in just to make sure he doesn't lose too many when he doesn't have the links to fight as well. So he's doing exactly that beautiful drone drilling from DRG. Wow, he's doing so much damage here. I think Sol's drones are actually in some pretty serious trouble. Well, he hasn't lost too many yet, but they are getting weaker and weaker. Keep an eye on that unit counts instantly. As soon as I say it, six just get obliterated off the face of the earth. They wow. could maybe get a surround on the spine crow, but they need to help out their Ling buddies that are just now popping. They drone drove back into the fight, but those Lings, I don't think, really got a convincing start. No, this is awful. This yeah, is this so is really bad. awful. This is over. DRG. DRG just wins it. <laughs> wow. Three zeros solar. He's hey, this like... Was